welcome to Desperado Van Adventures. Now this video is all about Airwood Hall in the Peak District. A beautiful stopover. Just overlooking the reservoir. Now up through them fields there's a ruins of a mansion built in 1830. So I'll take you up there and let you see around. But before we do that, I'll just show you around the park up. The park up is actually looking out onto this road. That's the road there. Obviously, that's the reservoir and the nice scenery in the background. The park up is just down that road on the right. Now this little path that I'm standing on is on the right hand side of the river. If you go up that path, the ruins is on the left. So you have to actually, the ruins is on the other side of the river. So you have to go up the path where the park up is. And this is the path. This is the path up to Erwood Hall ruins. So I'll tell you a little bit about it while we're walking up. Erwood Hall was built in the 1830s by Samuel Grimshaw, a wealthy Manchester businessman, and was occupied by the Grimshaw family for the next hundred years. The hall was the centre of a thriving estate of over 2,000 acres consisting of several farms, a school, the Cat and Fiddle Inn, a private coal mine and the hamlet of Goitz Bridge. The family planted many specimen trees including an abundance of azaleas and rhododendrons. Samuel's grandchildren were the last members of the family to live in the hall which was later demolished in connection with the construction of the Fernley Reservoir in 1934. Stones from the demolished hall were used to construct the water treatment works below the reservoir. So there you go, a little bit of history about Airwood Hall. Thank you. 